Hello Web Developers, today we're going to be talking about Bootstrap and what is Bootstrap? Well, Bootstrap is the most popular HTML, CSS, and JavaScript frameworks for developing responsive mobile-first websites. It is completely free to download and use. So Bootstrap is a free front-end framework <clears throat> for faster and easier web development. It includes HTML and CSS base design templates for typo typography, forms, buttons, tables, navigation, modals, images, carousels, and many other, as well as, as optional JavaScript plugins. Bootstrap also gives you the ability to easily create responsive designs. And what are responsive designs? Well, responsive designs <coughs> is our, you know, that concept of creating websites which automatically adjust themselves to look good on all devices, from small phones to large desktops. So let's have a brief history on Bootstrap. Bootstrap was developed by Mark Otto and Jacob Thornton at Twitter. So here we have Mark Otto and Jacob Thornton. And was released as an open source product, product in August 2011 on GitHub. Here's our repo for Bootstrap on GitHub. On June 2014, Bootstrap was the number one project on GitHub. So, as you can see, um, many people have watched at for this repo. There are a lot of commits, a lot of contributions. So, it's, it's pretty big. Okay, so why use Bootstrap? Well, the advantages of Bootstrap is that it's easy to use. We have the responsive features, the mobile-first approach, and browser compatibility. Bootstrap is compatible with all, all modern browsers, Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari, and Opera. Where are we going to get Bootstrap? Well, we can download Bootstrap right from the site, getbootstrap.com. We just click download Bootstrap. We go to the download page and we click on download Bootstrap and it'll start to download. But <clears throat> like we did, like with jQuery, we also have a uh, CDN or um, content delivery network where we can just add these three links to our HTML file and boom, Bootstrap and jQuery and the last compiled um, Bootstrap JavaScript as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our first page using Bootstrap. There are a few things we have to go over. over. So, like I said before, we have the three links or the three <clears throat> um, sources from a content delivery network. In this case, we're using um, the content delivery network who support who supporting this is Max CDN, and with just by adding this in our inside our head tag in the HTML file, we got the framework going on as well as jQuery framework as well. So what are the important elements here on the Bootstrap HTML? Okay, so we have to add the HTML doc type. So we're always going to include this at the beginning of the page, right over here. So it's important that we always you know, um, set these attributes correctly and all the characters set as well. Um, the other thing it's in, what we're going to be looking out for is that we already established that Bootstrap is mobile first. So it's designed to be responsive on mobile devices. And to ensure this properly, we're going to add the following meta tag name viewport content width equals device minus width initial scale equals one. So the width equal device minus width Part sets the width of the page to follow the screen width of the device, which will vary depending on the device. And the initial scale one part sets the initial zoom level when the page is first loaded by the browsers. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be seeing now it's the our HTML elements, and because in Bootstrap it's required to wrap everything around containers. And there are two container classes to choose from. There's a container class, the one we have right here in this example. 
which provides a fixed width container. And the other one we could use would be the, contain dot, the container fluid class, which provides a full width container spanning the entire width of the viewport. Okay, so let's, here we have using the full width, and you can see in this example, it's not easy to see that it's responsive, but it's responsive. And if I remove the container, the fluid, the dash fluid, it's going to modify a little bit because with the container, it's using a fixed width, and with the container dash fluid, it will be a full width container. Okay, um, important things containers are not nestables. You cannot, you cannot put a container inside another container. And with this, basically, we conclude our intro into Bootstrap. Stick around and look for our next video. We're going to be going over Bootstrap grid system. Have fun and good luck on your next development projects.